Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10, Titanosaur Eggs. Scientists have discovered a massive haul of over two dozen dinosaur eggs in Brazil. The nest they found dates back to the Cretaceous period between 145 and 66 million years ago. The ancient eggs were uncovered at an abandoned limestone mine in the state of Minas Gerais. But these aren't just any dinosaur eggs, they are the eggs laid by one of the biggest dinosaurs that ever walked the Earth, the Titanosaur. The discovery was made by paleontologist Joao Ismael da Silva from the Cultural Foundation of Uberaba in 1990. The paleontologist was contacted by a friend who worked in limestone mining and pointed him in the direction of the nest. But in 1990, nobody knew what creature laid the eggs. It wasn't until recently, when a new study was conducted, that they were able to identify them as being from the Titanosaur. They had to analyze the shells, their microscopic characteristics, and then compare them with nests and fossilized eggs from other parts of the world. Particularly from other sites in Argentina, where the Titanosaur once roamed. The Titanosaur was a true behemoth of an animal. These things could grow 82 feet long, which is a little shocking considering their eggs were so small. Each egg was less than 5 inches in diameter, meaning they grew an incredible amount during their lives. It's also really interesting that the Titanosaur had similar nesting behavior to that of sea turtles. They would often return to the same nest, then bury their eggs under a soft layer of soil. They laid about 10 eggs at a time, but for whatever reason, this particular brood never hatched. Hey everyone, before we move on, I wanted to take a moment to share something very cool with you. Today's episode is sponsored by Albion Online. Albion Online is a game that takes you to a medieval fantasy world where you can live out your knight or sorceress dreams. It's free to play on website, Steam, Android, and iOS. What I love about Albion is its you are what you wear system. Your gear defines your skills, and by switching outfits, you can dive into player versus player combat or challenge monstrous foes in the world. It's like dress up, but with a thrill of swords, magic, and fierce battles. And it's not just about solo adventures. You can join a guild with your friends, claim territories, and defend them together. It's all about teamwork. And for the explorers among us, there's a whole world out there. Hunt down monsters, gather resources, and if you want, retire to your private island to relax or farm. Now let's talk about new stuff. Albion Online just dropped the Wild Blood update. It adds shapeshifter weapons and lets you hunt or even become mystical creatures. It's a whole new level of adventure. By checking out Albion Online through the link below, you're not only stepping into a world of medieval adventure, but also supporting this channel. So give it a try, and who knows, we might cross swords in Albion. And now, back to it. Number 9. An Ancient Threat from the Sky 2,700 years ago, astronomers working for the king of the ancient Assyrian Empire watched the skies for signs of incoming doom. Their observations were recorded on cuneiform tablets, tablets which have been discovered and analyzed by modern archaeologists. The ancient astronomers described witnessing an unusual red glow in the sky. Researchers from the University of Tsukuba found three different tablets mentioning the same event. Some described it as a red glow. Some said there was a red cloud in the sky. Clearly, the ancient people saw something up in the heavens that alarmed them. The scientists at the university were so intrigued that they compared the ancient observations to tree rings from the same time period, discovering something incredible. Scientists now believe what the Assyrians saw were manifestations of what we know to be auroral red arcs. They saw red light emitted by electrons in the atmosphere when agitated by an intense magnetic field, likely caused by a solar flare. This is what causes the aurora borealis in the far north. But 2,700 years ago, people saw it much farther south in Assyria. Scientists believe the magnetic field of our planet has changed over the last several thousand years. During the days of the Assyrian Empire, the geomagnetic pole was likely much closer to the Middle East. When the Assyrians looked to the sky, they saw the bloody red lights of an intense solar flare. That solar flare, if it had occurred in modern times, may have been strong enough to disrupt electronics across the globe. Could you imagine if that happened now? Let me know in the comments! 
And now for number eight, but first it's shout out time. I want to give a big thank you to Angie Myers and Rentastrophe for supporting this channel. Thanks guys. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos about amazing discoveries. Number 8. Tutankhamun's Face Revealed Christian Corbet is the man who sculpted Prince Philip in 2013. His most recent project was to bring the Egyptian boy king, Pharaoh Tutankhamun, back from the dead. Christian used a 3D model based on scans of the pharaoh's physical skull to create what experts are calling the most realistic reconstruction of King Tut ever. Andrew Nelson from Western University in Canada provided the scans of the ancient king's skull. Then Christian created the model and added layers one by one. He started with the bone, then added the muscle, and gradually built the anatomy of King Tut's entire head. Eventually, he was able to build the face using CT scans, tissue markers, and every detail available for a full forensic reconstruction. He didn't make anything up. Everything was based on measurements and the physical remains of the boy king. The end result proved to be something truly amazing. Christian managed to recreate exactly what Tutankhamun looked like when he ruled Egypt between 1332 and 1323 BC. The young boy was the last of his royal family to rule the 18th dynasty, and he only lasted just shy of a decade. We know his mother was also his father's sister, and that King Tut himself likely tried to procreate with his siblings. But because of the long history of inbreeding in the royal family, he never produced any viable offspring. He took the throne at around 8 years old, then died before he hit his 20th birthday. And now, for the first time, we know what he truly looked like at the time of his death. Number 7. Twin Black Holes an incredible and truly unique discovery has just been made far away in the vastness of space. Astronomers have witnessed a pair of twin black holes working together to consume the remains of two merging galaxies about 500 million light years away. Scientists discovered the twin black holes in the constellation Cancer, likely created when two separate galaxies bumped into each other and started to merge. Scientists believe that one day our own galaxy will collide with the Andromeda galaxy and everything within our tiny vector of space will also be consumed by a ravenous black hole. The black holes were seen thanks to the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, or ALMA, used for peering into the hearts of distant galaxies. Researchers say the black holes are about 750 light years apart and both are pulling in material from the helpless galaxies and growing. Michael Koss from Eureka Scientific says the discovery suggests galaxy mergers are much more common than previously believed, and so too are binary black holes. It looks like in the far reaches of space, there is nothing but chaos and destruction. Galaxies are smashing into one another, black holes are consuming everything in sight, and it's just a matter of time before the same thing happens to us. Number 6. Fossilized Lightning When electricity meets sand, a fantastic chemical reaction occurs. The sand grains fuse together to create something called fulgurite, or fossilized lightning. Lightning strikes the beach, the sand briefly reaches about 3,110 degrees Fahrenheit, and the sand becomes fused into a tube of glass. One such piece of fossilized lightning was discovered in the Nebraska sand dunes near the village of Hyannis. The fossilized lightning was 6.6 .6 feet long, a perfect example of one of the coolest phenomena in nature. When scientists studied the fossilized lightning, they found it contained a wide variety of materials. The hard branch of sand had chromium, aluminum, nickel, and silicon in it, but it also contained something called a quasi-crystal an extremely rare material that's only ever been found in meteorites and the test sites for atomic bombs. Scientists didn't even know about quasi-crystals until they were created in a laboratory. Then, in 2012, Paul Steinhardt from Princeton University discovered quasi-crystals in a meteorite that impacted Russia. But as far as we know, the only naturally occurring quasi-crystals on our planet 
are created when lightning fossilizes sand. The quasi-crystals don't appear to be useful for anything. They are just really, really rare. Number 5. Aliens in the Mona Lisa The existence of extraterrestrial life may have just been discovered in one of the most famous paintings in the world, Leonardo da Vinci's painting Mona Lisa. There is supposedly a hidden alien. According to the Paranormal Crucible, the Mona Lisa is hiding the image of an alien high priest. They say the painting was only made so that Leonardo da Vinci could expertly conceal the secret face of an alien overlord. The alien may have been involved with the Roman Catholic Church. However, the supposed alien overlord is incredibly difficult to spot. The only way to see it is to manipulate the photo using modern technology. Experts are extremely doubtful of this new and extreme theory. Sure, Leonardo may have hidden messages in his artwork, but it's doubtful he concealed an alien, especially an alien only visible when mirroring the image. It's only when the Mona Lisa is mirrored that the alien high priest can be seen grinning in the center of the painting. Do you think Leonardo da Vinci meant to put a UFO inside the Mona Lisa painting? Let me know in the comments and hit subscribe while you're at it. Number 4. Surviving Extinction Chinese scientists recently discovered the fossilized bones of a new species of animal in Xinjiang. The creature lived about 252 million years ago, right between two mass extinction events that each wiped out the majority of animals. Scientists named the creature Vigilosaurus gauchangensis and say it was like a lizard just under two feet long. It appears to be one of the earliest archosaurs that ever lived a group of animals that includes all the extinct non-avian dinosaurs, even crocodiles. It likely walked on four legs, which not too many animals did back then. Researchers think it may have been this tiny lizard that first developed the ability to walk upright. Millions of years later, the ability to walk upright resulted in the success of the dinosaurs. The main thing to understand here is that scientists have always struggled to figure out when creatures evolved to walk upright. Shifting the posture from wriggling like a worm to walking upright is considered one of the most important transitions in evolutionary history. It was just as important as when animals transitioned from the water onto land. Scientists have speculated the evolution of walking was prompted by climate change. However, this newly discovered lizard monster shows that animals were doing it over 250 million years ago. Walking upright likely helped V. gauchangensis survive the Permian extinction, then pass on its genes to other animals that would evolve into dinosaurs. Number 3. A Stone Age Message An amateur archaeologist has just found what experts say could be the first known writing in the history of human beings. The writing was found in the form of inscriptions scrawled into cave paintings throughout Europe. The script, according to Ben Bacon, the man who made the discovery, can be found in over 400 caves across Europe. Many of the caves are over 25,000 years old. The cave paintings were left behind by Stone Age people who appear to have written tiny hidden messages in their artwork. It's currently impossible to decode the writing. It doesn't even look like writing, but like tiny marks, no more complicated than check marks. Ben believes the writing was made by Paleolithic hunter-gatherers who needed to store data about the animals they were hunting. For example, they drew images of bulls, stags, horses, and other beasts on the walls of caves. They then added information about the animals' breeding cycles in the form of little black dots and scribbles the most prehistoric form of writing ever found. Here's how the writing may have worked. A single line could correlate to a month in the year. Although the prehistoric people of the Stone Age didn't have calendars, they still knew the seasons and the months. Then they used dots or a symbol to represent when that particular animal would give birth. This helped generations that came later to better track and hunt the animals to survive. If the discovery proves correct, this could be the oldest example of humans passing on written information from one generation to the next. It hasn't been confirmed as authentic, but if it is, it will blow the scientific community away. Number 2. Mystery Ghost Tracks 
Ancient ghost tracks were uncovered during a snowstorm at Cape May in New Jersey. According to the Higby Beach Wildlife Management Area, the beach was once the site of industrial activity at the beginning of the 20th century. What's now a beach was once covered in railroad tracks. The Cape May Sand Company and Bethlehem Steel Corporation used the tracks to transport sand and other raw material during World War I. These long-forgotten railroad tracks were exposed recently thanks to a mix of low tide and stormy weather. The rusted tracks were seen peeking through the sand by curious beachgoers. The history here dates back to 1905 when the tracks were first installed. When war broke out in 1914, the tracks became part of the Atlantic City Royal Route, and Cape May was used for munitions testing. The tracks were used to transport ammunition and cannons along the coast. Then, when the war finished, the Cape May Sand Company kept on dredging sand from the beach to be used in the creation of glass and cement. Thousands of tons every year were transported using these railroad tracks. But then, in 1936, people became concerned that the sand was going to be completely gone. The tracks were abandoned, covered in sand, and only recently became visible yet again. Number 1. Ancient Lost Ship On the coastline of southern England, the remains of a mysterious ship from 500 years ago have been discovered. The ship, built during the Elizabethan era of the 1600s, was uncovered in April of 2022. Construction workers were carrying out an operation when they came across the timbers of the ancient vessel and alerted local archaeologists. Since then, experts have been busy trying to identify the ship and learn more about its history. Testing the old and rotting timbers revealed the age of the ship, built between 1558 and 1580. However, that didn't do much to reveal the identity of the ship or how it wound up stranded on the English coastline. According to marine archaeologist Andrea Hamel, finding a late 16th century ship is incredibly rare. Not many ships from the era have survived today, and so archaeologists are hoping it will reveal more about England's ancient shipbuilding methods and the nation's long history of seafaring. But as of right now, the ship is still a mystery. We don't know its name, we don't know if it was a merchant vessel or a warship, nor do we know how it was destroyed or how long it's been sitting abandoned. Thanks for watching! What was your favorite recent discovery? Let me know in the comments below! Be sure to subscribe and come back soon for more videos like this!